Hi everyone, today I will cover how Curator is working. Let's say you have the X stack has disk size like 100 gigabyte. If you just collect a log file from the Tomcat server and database server forever, your X stack maybe face the disk space outage issue. So what Curator is doing is it checks how many disk space you use or how long is the index is and check this one and if it is too old or your disk space doesn't have enough data space then it just delete old data. Let's say let's see how it works. So how we install Curator? You can easily install with the PIP install Elasticsearch Curator. And once you install the curator, you can just say curator here, and then you will see something usage like this. That means you already installed the curator, successfully installed the curator. So far, so good. And then you need to configure curator. How to configure curator? You can go to my GitHub website here and just copy and paste the curator here. So if you go to the curator, let me see here. Um, since I'm running the curator in the X stack itself, the host is 127001 and I'm using the default port here. You can copy and paste and uh, into your X stack. And then um, here's the curator time based deletion. So I have the deleted index time based YML, which is a config file and the shell script. So the basic idea is this. And let's say today is August 3rd, 3rd of August. And if I'm running this time-based shared script, I'm going to check if there is an index which is more than one month. And here I have the Tomcat July 1st and July 2nd. So once I run this curator, uh, this will just remove the Tomcat July 1st and July 7th, uh, July 2nd here because we are not interested in the, the, the index which is more than the one month here. So let me see here. So in my X stack, I have the delete index size based shell script and also delete index time based shell script. So I'm going to delete. I'm going to run just shell delete indices time based shell script here. And as you can see, this one will delete uh, the data if it takes uh, if it uh, stayed here more than a month. So if you see. Here, my delete index time base YML is config file. Uh, I just define the 30 days here and see the, the index starts with Tomcat dash and uh, more than 30 days I'm deleting this index. Okay, and the next one is the database uh, data database. Uh, deletion. So let's say we defined uh, like 300 gigabyte disk usage for the Elasticsearch. But if we use more than that, then we just delete the oldest index from the Elasticsearch. So you can just uh, refer to my GitHub file here. So let me go to GitHub here. And uh, here is the index size base. Here I defined 300 gigabyte. You can see the 300 uh, here, disk space 300, and the disk space here. And the other most important thing is I have uh, the number one here and the number two here. So I'm doing this shell script on the two index. First index is the file bit dash index and the second index is the Tomcat dash index. So if we have more index, just copy this part here and paste and name it like three. Then the this states on uh, disk size base uh, YML will work on any index you named here. And here's this uh, delete index size base shell script here you can copy and paste to your X stack let me see so if I just run this my shell script uh, size base then as you can see this shell script is running clean okay so if there was an index uh, and uh, if the, if we are already using the disk space more than 300 gigabyte then it will delete the all this index from the elastic search So, so far we ran the shell script manually, but this is not perfect. The perfect X stack should be the one that running this curator automatically. So we can achieve this one using the cron tab. So you can copy this cron tab, create a cron from my GitHub and place in, let me sudo su to go to etc cron.d here. So if we place create a cron here, like create a cron, and that uh, the curator cron has a daily cron job here, zero, zero, star, star, star means it works daily. And it's actually is doing the same thing, which I did the, using the YML file running the shell script here. 
and uh, create the log file on the log creator project time base and uh, the size base. So if you go exit and uh, here if you go to log file, here have the log file, create the project size base log and the create the project time base log. So now you don't need to run this shell script manually. You just go office and check this log if this there if there's any issue yesterday night and uh, if there was project yesterday night. Okay. So we take care of, we have taken care of this cron tab. The next one is how to backup and restore with S3. Let's say we have the curator. We are deleting all the data like more than a month, but there's a real scenario that the, the customer wants to see the log file like two months ago, but we already deleted the, uh, the index more than one month. So in this case, we can just back up every day's log into the S3 and uh, run in the curator. So Xtech will be safe from the disk usage, but in the case that the customer wants to see the two months ago log file, you can just restore the log two months ago from the S3. I'm going to take care of this one in the next video. Thank you.